Hey guys, here. So today we are going to do the ebook for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, if you would like the written version of this ebook, you can subscribe to my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash gutfox, linked in the description, and it will be sent out in a couple days. If you are late and watching this after a couple days on YouTube, um, go on over to my Discord, also linked in the description. Uh, sign up there, you have to be a Twitch sub, link your Discord and Twitch, and there will be a version of it in the Discord too. So, multiple ways of getting it, if you missed the first initial email blast. After this one, I will be doing a run-heavy offensive ebook, and then a Baltimore Ravens defensive ebook. Um, so that's kind of my plan for the next couple, for the next month or something. Uh, but Jacksonville Jaguars, kind of like off meta right now you see a lot of uh, people kind of more in like the Arizona uh, Raiders that kind of stuff right at the moment you know those people in the pants still and this it's kind of all over the place right now um, I think we'll do a video on the meta but um, I, I finished this ebook and so now I'm on to run heavy and I think a lot of this game is going to run uh, revolve around uh, the running game, the stiff arm, because that is so effective, falling forward, um, and then obviously Tyree Kill, and, you know, heavy pressure too. So, this kind of ebook is going to kind of explore some of the new concepts, some of the RPOs, um, and just some classic concepts, some zone beaters, man beaters, that kind of stuff. Um, so, let's get right to it. Jacksonville Jaguars offensive ebook, settle on in. Um, let's get the scheme going. Um, so, there is going to be some. Some formations with only like one play that I truly like, but I like it enough to kind of set, show it. So single back wing tight, something that your opponent's gonna be like, all right, this guy's gonna come out running. And of course, it's nice. Like I talked about, it's gonna be run game. Stretch alert, X looky. I like stretches. I like uh, RPO. So let's go three four odd cover three for example. Um, one thing that they're gonna have to respect is the stretch to the right, and obviously they can't blitz you off the left. So basically, all you're doing is watching. Can I can I do this right here? Like, like this guy over here? But but oh ooh, like him. See where he drops, respect him, watch the user, watch like this side of the field, see if these guys drop into your stretch um, zone right there. If they drop, you just let the ball go, you let it go and let it hand off. The one drop there, so let it hand off, get to the edge, and then stiff arm your way, fall forward for eight yards. All right, pretty simple stretch play. Uh, but I think the, unless this game gets you know, heavily patched uh, with these force defenders start doing the job, I think you really want to pass. And I think one of my biggest, weak, biggest weakness, and I will admit this, I'm not patient enough, I don't take my checkdowns, and I don't run the ball enough. Those are, my, so I guess, two big, biggest weaknesses. Um, as, as a player, I look downfield too much, I don't check it down, and I don't run the ball. So, make sure and run the ball this year. 100%, that is going to be something that you need to do, establish the run, make sure you run. If you pass all the time, of course, you'll see a lot of top-end players passing all the time, and that's fine. That That is obviously this game, they're great at it. Um, tight end hat's good. You know, the old dive stuff, classic halfback stretch here again, um, in the wing tight Z. The other one I liked is, yeah, I said tight end attack. You guys have run tight end attack before, though. I guess I'll show it off um, for those maybe people who haven't. So tight end attack. Um, we'll show it against cover two. Cloud flats this year aren't very good. And it might it might be a while. We'll see what happens to zone coverages. But you can, you can take this. You can streak Grimble, drag him. That's one setup. You can leave it stock if you all like. I like to block a running back. I usually like to have my running back in the block in case they, like, send pressure accidentally but if i know they're sending out pressure and i want to send out five that's fine too if they're stuck in one defense rushing three or four then i'll go ahead and block five and send five out um all right there it is so this one so the a route there at a good tight end like kittle do you see how fast that was that was good against man so i just wanted to kind of show it ending that's really good against man coverage that that uh grimble route of course he isn't that good of a tight end not that fast but do you see how fast that breaks so like someone in man look at that right there perfect but in this distance right here, you just you just pop that down to your drag. All right, so you just pop this down. Take your drags. One of the most important things you can do in the world is taking your drags. And tight end streaks seem to be pretty powerful. Deep zones are really bad right now. Like embarrassingly bad in mutt. So maybe later when deep zones get better. Otherwise, here was, it, here was the stock route. Um, again, drag. Check that. That's a good way of clearing it out. Otherwise, cover two. Hey, knocked it out. Anyway, I should back, I should back this... Uh, play up a little bit because we're gonna be having some uh, bombs here in a little bit but uh that's not that's not a route like sideline routes you need specific sideline routes for cover two and in, in, in wide side of the field there they are you can just sometimes fade it uh but anyways that's what i like tight end attack and then those running plays the dive and stretch off of that because like i say running the ball is important uh and like i say like so the first first ones i'm going through here aren't like the best ones but we're gonna get into the, the fire in a little bit single back a slot I like this post wheel shallow. Um, what do we want to do? We should get, we should get some sort of. All right, this is kind of a slot. So there's two wide receivers. So there's two wide receivers. Oh, what the heck? Two wide receivers, two tight ends. So most people will be like a three four, four three type defense. All right, so right here, 
streak, drag, solid combo. You got a mesh route and a post route. Can't get much better than this with a blocked running back. Right? Easy concept. Look for the mesh, tight end streak. Otherwise, late, late throw X. You see how that post route was going to come open over the middle? So you had like a clear route, post route until I got sacked. Uh, I, got, I got that, and then like there. That's that's your late option. The pressure in practice mode is worse than the pressure in MUT. MUT, there really isn't that much pressure unless they're bringing a hard blitz or they're glitching you out somehow. That's one setup. Um, also against cover two. This is not a cover three. Cover two, which I don't love this year. Uh, at least right now, with the way cover two deep on, like playing, watching this, see this Washington route and that Smith Schuster, the way this matches, and then you can obviously do something with like Grimble, you can streak him too, or slant him, or whatever, take away the user. Watch the way this matches, it's so weird. And then the comeback route, that's an easy first down. So, comeback route, wheel route, classic first down against cover two. Uh, but you gotta have, what, four seconds in the pocket? I'll show it one more time. Alright, like this. Yeah. So just remember that if you need a first down against cover two. Oh, 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 that was cover three, and I got sacked. Make a mistake. All right, I'm not going to show it again. Nah, I'll show it again. I promise I'm going to show it again. Watch that. Come back route. There's your setup. Otherwise, I just hit that Y right there. If that user's not going to respect your Y. Yeah. Nice. Getting off to a good start practice mode. Uh, but otherwise, out of this, do I have it? Zone alert bubble. Love it. Right? If they're setting heavy pressure, bubbling around their pressure is really nice. Say they come out in a darn Tampa 2, like blitzing everybody type of stuff. Like this. Then just. There you go. The only issue is sometimes you don't have really good blocking. So if your blocking doesn't set up, you're kind of screwed. If your blocking does well, it's okay. <laughs> Otherwise, you just let it hand off if you don't like it and get to the edge. And it, don't spin. Sorry, don't spin. Stiff arm, Jew. That should be your order of moves. Nothing else. You can do hesitations. Hezies, where you just let go of the stick. That's good, too. Um, I want to go to single back doubles off close next. Single back doubles off close. Switch X comeback. Like this one. Um, let's go stock cover three. You know, I should bring. I should do other things. Let me get on the defensive line with the second controller. All right. So against cover three, you want to either throw the seam or that comeback route, right? So you're going to kind of decide. Smith Schuster is going to run a seam. Because of the way the tight end kind of drags the guy, the, the cover three back. See, see the cover three is over Smith Schuster right there. So he, he chooses. He's on an option route between cover two and cover three. So he'll choose. If it's cover two, he'll go on the post. So watch this. He'll hit that. He'll hit that post route against cover two. He's gonna he's gonna modify his route. Wait for it. Yeah. See there it is. Post route against cover two. Seam route against cover three. Exactly what you want an option route to be. Really nice selection right there. Um, otherwise, um, there's a little there's a little glitchiness here with this with this McDonald route. You can sometimes throw it like right away. As long as you get as long as you get a accurate throw on it you can kind of just toss it out there especially if they're especially if they're blitzing it's not bad it's dangerous if they're in if they're in hard flats well playing with hard flats you just got to read it right you can't just blind throw it it's hard to blind throw anything in this game so if you can read it smith like here's hard flats and it still played it because it got that chuck on it see the hard hard flat got the chuck so that's not a bad for a quick couple yards it's gutsy what about cover two hard flats? Tampa two. This will probably be even more gutsy. This is probably throwing into an interception. All right, yeah. One yard gain at most. So that's not great. So of course, read your defense. If they throw the hard flats, then you got you got cover two hard flats and you got that comeback route, which is really nice. But if they're in like man, um, do this. Comeback routes are nice against man too. Watch Washington's comeback route here. So this is solid. Uh, offense against anything. He like really freaked out that man coverage when he threw it. And Washington's an okay receiver, especially get somebody out there might like the Antonio Browns types. They have really good route running for that kind of stuff. Um, otherwise, we have a couple other plays here that are really nice in this formation. In the single back doubles, 
What do I have? Doubles off close. Of course. Do I have deuce close here? All right, I don't have anything for deuce close. But deuce close is, I don't know, it just, it just is, right? Halfback wham. It's solid. Good lead the way guy. Is there a lead the way this year in mud? I don't know. It's solid. Bench is solid. Those corner outs. It's always, I don't know. Ben, the, the, let me show you how bad these freaking zones are. Um, cover two. Look at this. You can like throw anything against it. These cloud flats are so weird this year. They're just not good. All right, that's a completion. Now we go the other way. Especially the wide side, it's an easier completion. I don't know. So you're going to see a lot of glitch videos. Like glitch out, cloud flats. Like, well, it's not that impressive this year. Uh, you got to play on that one. Um, wide side of the field, I think that'd be better. There are some corner routes that do a little bit better. These are a little slow cutting corner routes. But anyways, deuce close. It's not as good as other things deuce close. But let's go back to the doubles off close one that I like so much. Doubles off close. Um, this the, like so this all goes together in the same scheme. Uh, scheme halfback wham. In deuce close in this one. This this halfback wham is a little bit different. Um, so I'm gonna go three four. You know what? I'm going to put the man blitz here. Bitch bucko. Um, so let's do this. Do Tampa two. Right. That's a okay. All right. So. We got Wham. McDonald, not the greatest lead. You want somebody with a high like, lead block here? But yeah. So solid run to set up off that. So you got to make him respect the Wham, which is cool. And then you go ahead uh, and... Uh, nope, not there. Hit him with the outside stuff, too. The Wham to Jet Sweep. So the Jet Sweep's pretty good, but the rest of them aren't that great. So let's do the Jet Sweep here. So the jet, good way of getting outside. It's motion. You maybe want to mo move motion into your account, but like look at that, woo! Such a nice fast handoff. Oh, then Juju's off to the races. So that got like there's no force defender like that. That get they get hooked so easily there. Um, we can show like a cover two. We'll do a pinch buck. Oh, we'll bring in bring in hard man. See if this works against the jet sweep. Oof, nice. Get outside, stiff arm for a few yards, or make a juke move. Maybe Juju doesn't have the stiff arm that we want. But he's he's okay. Uh, so next, so that's one way of stretching. One way or the other, halfback wham outside. Um, you can always incorporate motion into your pass plays too. Um, PA boot screen. I actually I never use that one. I don't know if that's any good. But yeah, motion's cool. The PA fly sweep. I mean, it's an okay. It's okay, but it's like whatever. The zone fake jet. Might be use might be useful to work it in if you're gonna run the jet sweep more than once. Use his own fake. It's nothing special, but it's it's okay. There's solid plays right there. I like that jet sweep though. Um, single back wide trips is probably the best single back formation in the Jags. Yeah, single back wide trips I think is that's where I live in single backs. Most of my Jags work though was in gun. So you guys are getting the single back stuff, the stuff that I don't live in as much. The single back wide trips is pretty solid. Uh, I I like it. The PA slot cross is a cover four destroyer. This is a classic pin concept, something that we've been running for years. Generally, you want to run it on one of the hash marks. So watch this play. You like? Okay, that's pretty solid. A little closer than you like. Okay, that actually got intercepted. All right, maybe it wasn't solid at all. Tackle him. Um. So when you move it on the hash marks, though, so that's middle of the field, right? You're like, oh, that's that's a dead play. That's stupid. Why are you giving me that play? And then when you go like this, now now watch this play on this hash mark. Same same coverage. This is how important hash marks are, dogs. I don't know if you dogs. Foxes. This hash mark. That's like money in the bank. Okay? This is so clear. So clear, it's like that time I got clear to charges. Alright, let's try the other hash mark. Let's watch this one. Let's see if we can run to the wide side of the field as much as the short side. I feel like you guys might already know. But like, you don't know. Not that good. Weird. He used to be running to the wide side. This year, that's near side. Near sidedness. Usually I like to block the, block the halfback so I got more time in the pocket, so I'm running seven. Uh, see that? He stopped. What a jerk. So yes, it needs to go near side. It's just like the cover three beaters I'll show you. Um, cover two beaters is just like everything. Uh, but everything we want to run to the near side for beaters this year, it feels like. You can also run straight streaks. Something I'll have in my run heavy book are straight streak beaters. I'm not going to put it in this book, so tune in for that one. Um, as for like I4, oh no, I haven't, I'm not even finished with Y trips. What the hell? So PA slot cross, that's your cover four beater. That's your cover four beater in this book. Know it, learn it. Cover four drop is dead. Dead. 
Okay. So off that, zone alert bubble. You guys saw me run that in the other book. Love it. Stretch alert X looky. Oh my God, beautiful. I'm not going to run it. You guys know how to run alerts, right? Alert, alert. If you don't want to throw the ball, just let it hand it off. Don't touch anything. Salem, four verts, double post. Ooh, there's some good stuff here, right? Okay, so let's look right into what do we got to do first? Salem, Salem, and four verts. I'm not going to show you how to do four verts. You guys are grown ass adults. Four verts is like every other Madden ever. Uh, maybe I'll add it. Maybe we'll do four verts. All right, fine. I'll do. I'll do. I'll do a rip of four four verts. Double post, and then uh, slot two buck. Oh no, I did Salem. Yeah, sluggo seam. I'll show you that. All right. So first up, slant two buck. Do I got this one in here? I did not do a breakdown of slant two buck, so I'm not gonna show it on the YouTube's. Salem. I flipped it, but you know I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it that way to keep it consistent. All right, so give me over here. So what I like here, like this is an okay route by Smith Schuster. It's like it's just a nice little hitch. It's a good. It's a good playoff. Like you guys know, I did this. You guys remember this video I just put on the channel the other day? Like throw it to B and Smith Schuster will catch it. Okay, it didn't really work there. God dang it. Maybe I throw it low. Oh, maybe it's because it's not stock. Smith Schuster, there, there. This is okay. I like this okay. Low to B. Smith Schuster caught it. Weird. Really, it's getting weird animation. Maybe it's because it's near side of the field. Regardless, that's an okay play. What I like about this play, I like to in route Smith Schuster. So my first look is over there to Connor. All right, watch, watch the corner, watch the uh, linebacker on Connor. If he goes back, just throw it out there. Take your few yards. All right, be happy with this. Make a, make a move. Take your six yards, second and four, good. Keep moving the change. Make them respect the hard flats. So when they throw the hard flats down there, like, huh, Connor looks taken. Pop, you're mine, all right? Make them have to guard both up and downs. So then if they go into like man coverage, which you hate, because it's so good this year, and probably the meta, which we'll get to in how to beat man. I don't like being, I don't like being a heavy man under center. That's why we're gonna wait till we get to, to gun. There you go. Usually that's user though, right? So that ain't great. Send five out. Get screamed at. Pinchbuck O has gone from the computer D to the human D. But otherwise, you can always slant this guy over here, Washington. See? You get sacked. You can't quick throw if you're under center because you don't finish your drop back. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, this is all of our zones. All right? Zone is not meta right now, in my opinion. But when it does, these will be perfect for you. So just wait till we get to the gun part for, for meta for man beaters. All right. Smith Schuster, Moncrief. All right. Watch this. Cover two. Killer. Watch Moncrief. I mean, Smith Schuster doesn't even need to be on this route. But just watch this stuff. This stuff is so deadly. This is like hoof hearted. Ah! Pressure. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Do you guys see him just running wild? I don't even need to be on this hash mark. Tampa two, okay. Double post. I'm just running stock. T two is bad this year, boys. Oh wow. Okay, throw a little, throw it a little better. Throw it a little later and throw it over top or what? Uh, but anyways, against three, you basically just read, read your flat, your your out route there, your C route, your modified C route. Um, if it's coming hot and the pressure, McDonald first. It's McDonald or Y first. And then you have kind of like levels right there between R, B, and B. I will I will tell you, um, B, the in route, guys will go ahead and, and lurk to it. So you can even go like this to get more separation. But guy will generally lurk back to B after being an RB. Like they'll lurk the drag and then they'll, they'll go back to B. So just throw the drag, right? Not many people are with the drag the whole time. Many people lurk back once they see that come back out of the middle. Because that's their zone. All right. So, Sluggo Seam. You could be like, oh, this is a man beater. I mean, it's good, but fuck. I, got, I, I played against Dubby today, and he screamed at me under center. I literally couldn't block under center with seven people. But when you do block it, yeah, see that? I, I, I just don't have enough blockers because it's like a green dog blitz. When they see me, when they see me block a bunch of people in this Sluggo Seam, 
you just don't have enough time under center, I feel like. You could always do something like this if you really want to get gutsy. Oh, god dang it. <laughs> I forgot to change a man. You can block eight and just go one play for a one play touchdown. But yeah, Sluggo is like kind of one of the man beaters. Pinch bucko, block eight, like this, and then this. Oh, that didn't really work. Nope. I backfooted it. But I had him. Did you see that? I had him beat on the man coverage. All right. Next off. Did we see that? I showed double pulse against cover two. Yeah. Double pulse solid. Cover three. Man. I wonder if this works. I'm going to try this. Don't sue me if this doesn't work. I don't think this will work. Yeah, it's too close. Not a good enough cover three beater. Just gonna set, go, try going over the top. There are better cover three beaters. I'll show you. Um, but as for a double post against cover three, I mean it's solid if you just run a stock drag and then the post route. Like because it's like too deep here against cover three, you're gonna get shut down. So your best shot is to throw it to kind of like the underneath guy. If you want to get a little ballsy, right here to uh, Smith Schuster. Uh, you just gotta watch for user lurks because user will be lurking that Smith Schuster route after A goes there. Uh, but yeah, generally, that's it. That's a kind of a weak spot. But man, users do like to go back to that. So it's a solid route though. Um, depends on how aggressive they are. If they're more passive, just check it down. Check it down to A. A is perfectly fine. Why they might even be on. But look at that. Beautiful. So that's solid against cover three too. You nice thread in the needle. Just have good timing. Solid. So I like that set. And of course... I didn't even show you, I didn't even show you the halfback dive and in, in, in the stretch alert looky, which are like the foundations of it. I'm not gonna waste your time showing off run plays. All right, halfback dive. You know how to run a dive. Stretch alert looky. You might not know how to do it, but practice it. All right. What I like for like goal line, this strong wing, god tier. This fullback. I just, I just want you to witness this. Uh, let me show the uh, what plays off of it. Halfback toss. I kind of like post shots okay. I think that's a cover four beater. I haven't tested it though, but I think it's a cover four beater. Was it PA spot? Oh, man, I like the sprint. I like that route from that sprint halfback. Watch this stuff. All right, so fullback dive. This is what like the entire scheme lives and dies off of, especially like goal line. Let's get like what's a good goal line play? I think a lot of people cover four drop show too. Watch this. Watch how fast this is. Look at that. And he's in. And like everybody pushed them back. That's that's a slow halfback too. Fast handoff, slow halfback. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. So the entire scheme runs off that. It's like problem Madden 16. Run fullback dive over and over. Oof, beautiful. So that is something to know out of the Jags. Otherwise, when you're like, hey, I know what he's doing. And you're like, I'm going to pinch my defense and crash him in. You're like, well, what happens when I just do this? Yeah, see, a little bit of a slow toss, um, and I can't make a move there because I'm terrible. But you're tossing around the defense if they're punching the middle. Halfback dive is whatever. Like this is really like that's not that good of a handoff, but it's still it's fine, I guess. I still like I like the fullback dive, halfback toss combo there. You're kind of giving it away though, but man, this one this got problem to the championship game in the Madden Classic or Madden Championship. It was like a fullback dive, so. That shit is almost as good. Um, here's a stretch alert. This is like a look. I don't know. But I don't really like this one. But just watch it. See like, see why I don't like it? See how like long it takes to shift up field? Maybe the computer shifts better for you than your your own um, your own player. Let me let the computer do it. See how long it takes? It's just not good. So there are some RPOs that should be good, but they're not because of the shift of it. All right, the next one. This one's solid for... It's like, like old school Madden 15 PA end around. The only issue is the Connor handoff. If Connor, if I didn't have to do this, so I could just cancel the handoff, go back in my own. B's open, then X is, X is God tier right there, right? You can throw him immediately or you can wait. So you want like somebody faster. A George Kittle type is a perfect tight end for that corner route because he's good run blocking. So if you ever need to toss, dive, 
And you get that sprint shit for Grimble spot. Streak McDonald. And then you can always like throw there if they're going to like cover two or cover three. Of course, if they're in a cover four and they're blanketing, you're not going to be able to really toss that very well. But that is a really good... Here, let me show you everything else. All right, say so they go into like... Let's try it against man. Let's say they baseline, shade outside so they don't get beat over the top of their man. Let's go same stuff. PA sprint. Streak him. I kind of want to block the running back. Let's try without the block running back. Okay. Let's block the running back this time. I, I got rid of it. All right. Sprint halfback. Okay. Maybe just something like this. I need a mic over there. Down on that streak. Yeah, Grimble should be somebody faster. But anyways, Smith Schuster. Kind of a crosser-ish. Not the greatest, I guess, against man, but it is what it is. Man's just really good this year. Um, so that's that's like a solid. I would say like two to three play. Like really, the the, the killers there are that fullback dive, and of course, PA shot. Like you know, PA scissors are nice. So there's some good fucking passes there. Um, with what you want to do with scissors. That's what you want to do with everything, right? After after living off the dive, uh, let's go here. After living off the dive and toss. Ah, shoot, wrong play, wrong playbook. Why do I think I was in? I form. So this is an okay in I form with a strong. So that's kind of the scheme. Take your drags, run corner routes in that strong. All right, gun. It starts off with ace. Ace, meh. Meh. Gun, ace. All right. Why did I, why is my ebook starting off with ten out of fourteen? I don't know. Who who knows? But this is the first one in my gun book for some reason. It's out of order. Shoot. Inside zone and halfback draw are solid plays. You guys know that. You guys have run it. Love them. Learn them. Live with them. See all these nice little plays here? Beautiful. Right? 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 Uh, mesh spot. Mesh spot's great. Watch Watch mesh spot in action. They'll probably be in like nickel. And let's do like a uh, Tampa 2. Mesh spot. Double drags. Spot route. Moncrief. Connor on the wheel. How, how can you not hate that? How can you hate that? Oh, his, his mid read matched. Weird. We still fucked him up. So... Take your drags every time you can. Otherwise, if they're playing hard flats, that's when you go to your post patterns. But yes, take your drags, guys. Make sure and take your drags. It's the greatest thing I can ever say to you. That's the greatest tip you can ever get. Take your drags. Um, but, like, I would block your running back if you need it, but running back wheel routes are pretty good. Even just throwing them out on, like, heavy pressure against guys who, like, blitz, like, if they don't have anybody out there because they'll blitz a lot of flat zones and take risks. It's so good. It is so good. Otherwise, you can just do straight streaks of the uh, running back. Ooh, right here. Straight streaks of him. It's an even thinner one. Looks like he got covered, covered, covered. Yeah, he was he was not good. We'll just take our check downs. So, yeah, that user is really stressed out because the user is generally going to be in the middle linebacker right here. So, he's got to cover back to the post or that spot route. So, it's tough, tough for the user to do them both. Post and spot. So you just see where they're not and take it. Um, off of this play, off of the inside zone halfback draw, you, you got to make sure to run those. Four dirticles. Dirty, right? You can throw those wheels quick, like I showed earlier. Watch McDonald and Smith Schuster. Out to the flats. Take your three, four yards. Always, always be happy with that. Unless it's like third and ten. Then maybe you're not so happy. Four verticals. What's so cool about these? Um, you can always check and release McDonald too. So if you want to do a block and release, like a slant, like this, and then you can always click their button to release them. All right, so let's try something like this against his man coverage. Watch Miss Schuster's wheel route. Oh, he got bumped. God dang it! It's because he's in the near sideline. My bad. You're watching. You're like, huh? 
That was terrible, you idiot. Generally better run to the field rather than the boundary. Four verticals. Max protect. You can also check and release them. You could drag. I like what I like check and release drag. That's pretty solid. Um against man coverage. Overstorm Brave. Alright, here we go. Generally a pretty bad looking play, right? Because you only got one route that really beats it. Damn, he got bumped again. And then you just rack fade it. Oof, he got to me. Juju Smith Schuster is not fast enough. So maybe that's not working if they're gonna if they're gonna bump you down the field. That doesn't work. Dang, that's terrible. Usually wheel routes okay, sorry. Usually wheel routes are the absolute venom to man coverage. But shoot. RPO zone peak. Not that good. <laughs> Watch this stuff play out. A solid run, but the peak, did you watch over the middle of the field? Watch over the middle of the field again. I don't know why I'm showing this off as a bad play. Like, there's so much flood there. There's so many people there. It's it's not spread out enough. Like, you need a regular RPO. Hey, we got the ball back. Advantage offense. Okay, anyways. What's the next one on that? Let's go to the next one on that set. Gun. Let's say it's tight. Yeah, tight. So there's a lot of tight stuff in this book, which is really nice. Bench. It's a solid play as is. Bench and I want to show the X dig here too. X dig. X dig. What else is there? Inside zone X dig. Mesh spot we showed. Switches in. Yeah, that's it. All right. Yeah. And obviously with route chems, once we get route chems, this stuff's going to be so much better. All right, so let me show off bench first. All right, let's look at these routes. Got sharp corner routes, deeper routes. So sometimes deeper routes are good, sometimes they're bad. Let's watch it against cover two. Block, and then release to the flat. They didn't even release to the flat, that's kind of weird. Generally, those things release to the flat. Why didn't he release to the flat? That's kind of weird, right? Swiss Schuster didn't go out to the flat. Do I gotta press their button? Yeah, I gotta really, I, gotta, I pressed his button. But like, just look. That, I don't even need Juju to release. When you press their button, they release. So just remember their buttons. A and Y. Release Y. Did it, like, cover two is this, this fucking place, bitch. Even if they bring pressure. All right, so let's, this, this pressure from Pinch Buck O. All right, so same play. Yeah, I guess it was it was pretty close on those. Uh, your receivers still had the position, which uh, Madden rewards position this year. Um, but yeah, maybe not the not, not the greatest here. Against against man coverage, those corner routes. But man, did they toast too Just to the wide side of the field. I don't even have to have a. I don't. You don't even have to have a route underneath them this year to get those deep corners open against cover two. Let's watch against cover three. Okay, we'll put Cloud Flats on the cover three. Uh, let's release Juju. Nope. RB was kind of open. So cover three played it pretty well. Probably because it was too deep. If you if you uh, hot route this corner route to the, to the sticks against cover three. Let's watch it. Beat that corner. Nah, it didn't, didn't work. Huh. I guess that's not one of those good corner beaten cover threes. What? How did it do on the other side? I was only looking wide side. Yeah, a little bit better actually. Still, a, still a hard dot. It's still a really bad. Like I'm trying to show off how bad like the the zones are, because corner routes against cover three should never work, um, w without a clear out there. But anyways, bench. Oh, I was gonna show the other route. Sorry if this is getting slow for you guys. I apologize. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep moving. X dig, X dig against nickel. I got. I got the other coverages. All right. So why do you like this? Well, it's a classic flood concept that way, right? This is a classic zone beater. I love this. I love this. This concept's one of my favorite. Watch this stuff work. We got cover two over top. We had that drag underneath. We had the streak to the tight end, 
and then we have a backside in route to hold the user. All right, so say they go again back to man coverage. I'm still trying to find the best man beaters. Is this? All right, so let's try something like this. So let's do this. Sorry, mesh. No, that's not the best. Washington doesn't have very good route running there. You need speed corners. My speed corners aren't working. This is a zone buster, not a man buster. All right, cool, 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 cool. So I'm, I'm discovering man busters along because I've been, I, 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 I formulated this book around beating zones and then I'm realizing man is becoming more of the meta. So running this stuff versus man is gonna be a lot tougher because man, man covers it a lot better. We got some other specific stuff for man, but I'm trying to find it in every single book, every single set now. Trips tight end offset. Our RPO zone alert is wonderful. Um, inside uh, RPO trap alert bubble. I don't think that one was as good. I tested that one out. Not as good, but we'll try it anyways. I just want to see how the trap plays. Ooh, wow. That actually really worked really good. Got shut down in the previous practice mode. But yeah, that, that one's really good. And then, well, let's let's do something in a second. Oh, yeah, that's why. It's because I was on that player. He feels the hole a little bit better that time. But watch this. So he feels that hole. Watch Moncrief. If, my, if I had one block there, I was going for a little bit longer. With that bubble. Yeah. So I like that one and the inside zone. RPO. Here's the inside zone. Yeah, look at that. Look at that beauty. So that we're really making that one defender choose between two different options on the inside zone of the trap. You're really making that guy over Moncrief choose whether to stop a five yard run or a you know five to ten yard pass. He holds his water, you just run out the middle. Was it nine yards? Yeah. Water holding, you run out the middle. Doesn't hold it, you throw the B route. Okay, so with that, you guys know what PA crosses is. Obviously, this year you got a little bit less time. The PA cross the crosser's route isn't as good, but we'll just do the set the, the perfect setup for it. Here is the ideal setup. Usually you want to run into the sidelines, so you want to be on the other hash mark and run into the far side of the field, but we'll do near side just to show you it's unlimited power. Yeah, I even had a rack fade. I had a rack fade touch on my tight end too. It's really weird how the cover co cover three corners are covering nothing this year. Alright, watch this. Oh no, I, I called the wrong play. Watch watch this corner out for this tight watch this tight end. This is why like you'll see a lot of um, um, th a streak routes from like bunch sets, and I'll show it to you in a second to beat these cover threes. Look at this. This is McDonald. This is Vance fucking McDonald. It's not George Kittle. That's like a one play touchdown with any good tight end. So you're gonna see that a bunch. You got to be ready for it. I, I don't even know how to stop it right now. I'm really sick uh, because that works. But anyways, that's uh, this game. So that's sickness. Uh, mesh and okay, next one. Get into the next plays in this set. In this uh, set. Um, mesh and oh, 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 level sale. Are you kidding me? I don't have level sale written down. What? I feel like that was just self-evident. Level sail and fake screen wheel. And XM is okay. Mesh. Put... Huh. I must have put that under the wrong uh, thing. Anyways. All right, level sail. Level sale is a solo king for like solo battles. You just throw to your running back out there, and then if not, you throw to one of the in routes. I I I I don't. I'm not gonna show up, but I just wanna reemphasize. This is such a fucking powerful play. You need to run level sale quite a bit. You can either you can streak the inside guy, or you can just leave him as is. You can streak one of them and motion him across. So many things like it, it just if you make your raise, this is darn near impossible to stop level sale. If you make bad reads, then it's really easy to stop. If you make good reads, good luck to your opponent. X under, solid play two. Fake screen wheel. I'm going to show that off. 
So fake screen wheel is a little bit worse than last year. So let's watch fake screen wheel against cover two. So here it is. Let's watch it. I don't know, my cre you want somebody like John Ross there. Somebody really fast. Or, or Tyreek Hill. So fake screen wheel against cover two. Whoops. I wanted to I wanted to throw away. I want to put my tight end on a streak to to what's this? All right, fake screen wheel. <laughs> Side that was open. Middle of the field was kind of condensed upon. So that's kind of whatever. And then against cover three, remember when it destroyed cover three last year? It doesn't really destroy cover three this year. Wow. Okay. That was kind of bonkers. I'm not going to shut off. It didn't really do well. Okay, next up, off of the gun trips tight end. Uh, that's all I want to show. Bunch tight end. Nope, next on my screen is gun wide trips week. Bunch tight end, we'll come back to you. Bunch of watchers tweet. The RPO bubble pop. Pop pop. RPO base alert lucky. Oh no. This is offset. Gun wide chips offset. Yeah. So sorry. RPO bubble pop. Bubble wide pop. Uh, that one I saw an entire video on that. Check that out on my channel from a couple days ago. The bubble wide pop. It is an absolute cover two killer. Cover three, it's okay. The only issue is that sometimes you get some harsh pressure against it. But yeah, RPO Blue Eye Pop is fucking bonkers. Um, I did a specific video on that one. So I'll just, I, I guess I'll show it to you for the benefit of the crowd. Watch this against cover two. See that? I feel like cover two, we're having, we're having a lot of luck against cover two right now. Cover two heat might give us trouble, but cover two. Absolute easiness. Throw it quick and early, and he just that cover two guy. So I'll, I'll pass commit, pass commit, and we'll see if this works on a cover two. That one he plays it better. Oh, good. Darn it! All right, nice stack. Right up the middle. They're killing me with pressure here. So pass commit helps shut it down, but you can always go over to pop pass the tight end, or the the, the screen pass, or the sorry the bubble. Are two great ones to get around the edge. Solid. So I like that bubble white pops. So like Jacksonville, the entire book. I, I don't want to undersell us. This this does revolve around this play, right? This oh she there we go. That one I waited a little bit long. Hand it off hand off the ball with A. And you can just do the the if they if they like pass commit, just if you just hand it off, they're gonna get driven back the ball, driven back off the ball five yards. I didn't pass commit there, but that's just an example. Alright, so bubble white pop, great. Next, um, same same set, slant buck two, slant buck two. This is something that you just you can just like drag everybody, put the post pattern. You can you can block a few people. Either hit the drags or the post. Easy. Yeah, zones are zones are not bad. Man man concepts are beat with drags, slants, post, speed outs, that kind of stuff. Uh, double moves, which I show, but they take a little bit longer than you want to see. So it's difficult. Y corner is the next one on this list. I should really just put in the uh, Um Why did I lose it all of a sudden? I'm losing my brain, guys. There we go. Y corner. All right, right here. Quick little, quick little corner route. The tight end McDonald goes down. Nice. All right. Otherwise, you got the in routes coming back. Um, this backside in route not that good against cover two. Against cover three, it's okay, but like. I don't get why you just don't call it curl, right? 
Like, nah, that didn't even work. Nah, not even that good against three. Just call curl if you want, like, a backside. Otherwise, if you're going like this, maybe just drag him. That's fine, too. Let's see that tight end route against pinch buck O. Little man coverage action. Donald. Yeah. Dragging the other guys. It's good, but it'll get you picked up by the user, I feel like. So this is okay against this is okay against man. Because it uh the in routes and the out routes are, are pretty nice. There you go. Alright, next book. Oh wait, no, 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 I still got more in this. Still got more in this uh formation. Sorry. Four verticals, no. Uh, next one is curls and RPO wide receiver screen. There you go. Curls and wide receiver. So curls is really nice against any type of coverage because it's it, you can, all you have to do is read it and you make the right read. So curls for the girls. Cover two. They're going to back off. And you're going to hit like McDonald in the flat. Take you five yards. Hard flats. I'll show it next. Even if it's cover three. Hard flats. Curl time. So if you can make the right read on that play, super powerful, super underrated. Got it. Got to know this play. Got to love it. Otherwise, if you're like, oh, I can't read. Well, okay, maybe just hit that. Oh, I was gonna say hit that RB right there, but then I get sacked. Hit the running back or the the, the post pattern. Solid choices both. Running backs open, open, open. Post pattern ended up getting hit by that mid read. All right, so it's a pretty simple concept, but immensely powerful. Backside you can always slant too, but watch out you're gonna yeah possess your catch you go down. So those are pretty nice uh, concepts right there. Next up is the RPO read wide receiver screen. RPO read. Ooh. I don't see it. They might have... Oh, maybe... maybe look, oh, yeah, there it is. I'm trying to figure it out. So it's that same... It's that same uh, RPO route against cover two. That Moncrief. It's not as good, though. Because, because the guy doesn't, like, uh, bite on it. Do you see how that's the same option route? So it'll fade against cover two. See that Moncrief route? He'll fade against cover two. So if you hand the ball off, he's still going with it. Um, so we won't attack the ball carrier. But uh, against cover three, he'll stop. So it's it's basically another choice route. Oh, we'll, we'll just try and throw it. Yeah, not as good though. Really close. Maybe it's because I'm at the, uh, the, the boundary side. Maybe we gotta go the wide side of the field. Watch this at the wide. Okay. Yeah, there you go. It's got to be wide side of the field. Not uh, near side. Y side for that to make that really nice clear against cover too. And just keep running. Against cover three, it's perfect because it chooses to go into a curl. I don't know if I mentioned that against the other one. It goes into a curl automatically against cover three. It is so glitchy. Clutch you five yards. All right, next set. Only a couple left. Yeah, this and this and bunch tight end. Gun wide trips weak. So saw wide trips weak. So you got wide trips offset, wide trips weak. Pretty similar if you motion the halfback, right? Look alike. RPO base alert, looky. Woo! All right. So okay, runs inside zone reverses whatever. I didn't really notice much out of it. Uh, I couldn't get it really to work that well. So reverse is unfortunately not that good. Um, I want to go to drag verticals. Whew. Sorry, I'm tired. It's late. Drag verticals against... Uh... Whoops. Go to this guy. The tight end is a really good route. It's very much, It's kind of like a four verticals with like spread out. It's kind of like a bunch four verticals but spread. So let's just 
Watch it. Tight end route gets glitchy. If you have any time in the pocket. Oh, has that guy got his X Factor going? Or does Roethlisberger have it? Oh, yeah. Gino only needs one more sack. So you see how I'm saying? So, like, that, that wheel route's good against man. It also might have worked right there, too. But, yeah, then you got a lot of guys on that sideline. So, generally, you want to run it. It's running It's running right to left, so you kind of want that to be the wide side. But, I mean, there's nothing wrong with uh, Smith-Schuster. But, otherwise, like, say they're sending this. Say they're sending man blitz and you block everybody. You can always send everybody out on routes. But this is not a bad combo for a man blitz. Drag, comeback route, up route. You don't have a, se like, you don't have, like, a second, like, huge one, but... Holy crap, we keep getting beat on that stuff. We keep getting bumped. Why do we keep getting bumped? Why does this not happen normally, but it is in, in practice mode here? We're getting bumped by man. All right, well, if you get bumped like this, if you get fudged, you throw the uh, comeback, but that one wasn't against man. Um. Yeah, I mean, otherwise, if you want that tight end to clear out anything, you just streak Washington. You can always block a halfback for extra protection. Otherwise, just letting him go out is kind of cool. Yeah, McDonald's not very good. Your mutt tight end will be better. Or just get somebody faster, quicker, better route running, better looking. What else is right here? RPO base look looky. We kind of talked about this. These ones aren't as good as like bubbles because it takes so long for them to set up. Yeah, see how long it takes them to get upfield? Bubbles are much better. All right, let me put it in a... Oops. All right, so once again, this four verticals, that, that route will beat cover two in the middle and cover three in the seam, so just know that. It'll, it'll adapt to what your opponent's running. White corner is good. Um, RPO base alert, looky. Yeah, I kind of went over RPO base a little looky. Uh, with that backside slant. I don't like it to the I don't like it to the the screen side, but I like that the slant side if they blitz you. Slot flayed isn't that good. I can show it to you. But it ain't ain't that hot. Um Salem. We went through a Salem route. It's the same exact concept in this Salem as the other one. Uh, dig and go. Okay. So let's do. You see him come back too. Let's try to see him come back. Let's come out into a uh, cover three, Tampa two, Overstorm Brave, cover six. Let's come out in a man blitz. All right, so right here, you're looking at like eh, two two comeback routes. That's fine. That might work. Let's check out Vance McDonald's route. Beats man there. So you basically, if you have enough time there, and you can always motion in your middle receiver to get one more blocker, more than you need. Uh, but McDonald's, not a bad man beater right there, especially with somebody fast. So you got two outside man beaters with those comeback routes. If you get enough time. And then McDonald in the middle of the holy user. So that works, that works. All right. Otherwise, slot fade. Um, I'm not I'm not a big proponent of slot fade, like I said. But let's see how it works. Yeah, see how he gets bumped on that? It's not like a wheel route. Like if that beat man, I'd be much more comfortable with that. But slot fade, even against cover two, like watch me audible to cover two. So slot fade even against a cover two, it doesn't do his job, right? So cover twos are pretty vulnerable. But like it doesn't expose the sideline. I, I you could streak the tight end to kind of hold him in the middle a little bit, and maybe that's what I should have done. Slot fade against a, a cover two with a streak in the middle. So that's a way of helping against tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'm wrong there. Maybe this will work. It's kind of like an improvised fake screen wheel, but yeah, got sagged. Um. Yeah, I kind of went over that. Dig and go. All right. So here's kind of like a double move, but double moves are weird this year, right? I don't, I don't know what to say about double move. All right, so max protect. Let's try like this. So this is against man coverage. Watch Moncrief on the right. He's not a very good rod receiver, so, but watch his like double move-ish. It's kind of like 
not good. It's too wide, but it's one of the only man beaters we got. Uh, put something like Antonio Brown there. Um, Smith Schuster here, and it'll do a little bit better. Yeah, that's, the, that's a better man beater. Comeback routes. All right, next up, probably my favorite shotgun set. Uh, and then, obviously, there's a there's a gun bunch in here, a normal gun bunch. But you see that so much online, I'm not going to put a scheme out for it. This isn't even the best gun bunch possible. But something that's Z-Spot, uh, Bunch Trail, those are both good plays. Verticals is great. Uh, always against the computer. Mesh Spot, it's good shit, too. Uh, but let's go to Gun Bunch tight end. PA boot over. You guys know crossing routes. Uh, crossing routes do really well against zones. Man coverage. I'll show it. Gets kinda, it's kind of gets eaten up against man. But you guys know based off last year how well those crossing patterns destroyed zones. So against a computer, it'll probably be better. Uh, but against this, maybe not. Yeah, look how he stopped there. Moncrief. Oh, he caught the ball. Yeah, he like this guy like like he's just stopping his own. So like watch this again. These crossing routes against cover too. I generally like to have a clear out block my running back. So that's the setup I like. Otherwise, I can in route Washington. I love the backside in route. That way the user gets aggressive on the crosser just to the backside in. So basically the user has to be in two places one unless they get like a nice um, bump like that. But that's just almost unguardable by CPU zones, if not completely unguardable. So that's beautiful. Tight end corner. Um, let's watch this play out just on its own. So which routes beat man? Why did okay? But that's oftentimes what I see. So that's unfortunate. Um, that, that I, I frequently see that for man. So if you motion him across, oop, darn it. Let's watch this against man actually. Is that a good outside breaking route against man? No, not really. Okay. Whoa. He was open ish. I want to show. I want to show you this against man coverage. This tight end corner. Motion it. All right, right here. So it's a little bit better, right there. So obviously, don't be like me. Don't put two guys in the same location because that's just where user is going to be. So if you do something like this, if you motion them across, maybe have Smith Schuster on a zig. No, Smith Schuster on that. This kind of zig. So zig route does pretty good. You can you can do a comeback route too. You can do a comeback route with the uh, Washington. Zig routes do pretty good against man too. So zig's open. Zig was wide open there. You see that? So never take the zig zig uh, out of your cupboard. Like old mother Hubbard. Watch the tight end route. Oh wait, 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 wait. I did the wrong play. That route there is good against man too. That just straight up crosser, but generally the user is going to be right there. So just check it down to the drag. Um, for the tight end corner, watch the tight end route against this man coverage. The, out, the man coverage, has, he's got outside leverage, but look, the tight end still beat it. So it's still okay, that tight end route against man coverage. The higher rated man cover corners won't be as shitty like that. So even though it looks like it's kind of cool, um, I think it's just because the Cincinnati Bengal guy isn't that good. But you can always get better route running. Maybe we're going to get a Tony Gonzalez tight end there. That'll help also against man coverage. Uh, but anyways, Gun Bunch tight end. I like those plays. Inside zone is solid there. Um, I showed you a goal line play with it about doing something like this, this, this. So then you throw it to Washington and Juju Smith shoots or catches it. So I watch this. Uh, it didn't work. I wasn't lined up properly. Hmm, weird. Generally, you'll see a lot of zone. Near the goal line. It's like this. All right. Whoops. Then you throw it to X. B catches it. The defense reacts like it's going to B, but then X catches it, so it's a really easy completion. So it's not bad. Um, the switch. Switch is nice because of that Connor route. Against man coverage, maybe it's not the nicest, but it's good against like. Over aggressive blitzers, users generally shoot out to that running back right away. Um, so just know that and don't throw the running back route and cut back to like the middle. Um, next play, I want to do a follow play next. 
Yeah. Oh, was, oh yeah, inside switch. I should have talked more about. We'll do X spot. Tight end corner. I did. What else besides for the besides for the rounds? What else do I want to look at? That's kind of it. Drive. Yeah, drive. Yeah, it's called following this for some reason. All right, drive, man coverage, man blitz, over storm brave. All right, let's watch all the let's watch all the routes play out against this. Watch Moncrief specifically. There you go, solid, right? Pretty fucking solid, huh? So Moncrief route, how do we work that in? How do we get a user not to just take that away from us? Let's think. Let's think. Can we motion it? How does it do? How does it do with motion? It goes to a regular zig. And now you're gonna watch a regular zig in action. Watch this. Look, just as dumb. Look at zigs. Zigs are life. Gotta love zigs. So, anyways, motion doesn't keep it. So we need to distract that user somehow. So maybe we just motion across, get the user out of the way, and then maybe he'll follow the drag. If he goes back from on creeps route and you throw it, then you get picked. Otherwise, you're choosing between the drag and that. So you see, so the proper spacing of routes is very important in this game. You got the drag, and he is open to be thrown. Drag is open to be thrown right now. Once you get hot routes, if you have it, putting like corner routes and stuff on these guys is so important. But yeah, this will be a good man beating stuff. Get it out in a second or two. But yeah, boom. Boomer. That's me right there. Boomer. Look at that. That guy's left in the dust. Who is this? Denard. Okay, that makes sense. It's a bad it's a bad guy, but Is he a nickel? Yeah, he's a nickel corner we just left in the dust with. Moncrief. He's not very good either. So uh, if that's like Pat Pete, I don't know if he'll be that far away from it, but just know that, that is a uh, something that's gonna happen. So right there, so you go drag. You can also put that on a slant. Maybe the user will have a, uh, a better chance at throwing a, chasing a slant than a, uh, a drag, but you can choose either one. So that's solid against man coverage too. I like it. Um, and of course, if you need to block man coverage more, I like motion this guy across. So that way I got more in there. I got seven. And there's one on each side of the quarterback. You know, one extra blocker, McDonald, Connor. And if you know you're going to block your tight end, Put in an offensive lineman there. You can put in a fullback in for Connor um, to help block there too. So that's tough because what's, once you motion your running back, you can't motion anybody else. So that's why that's why it isn't as good as I'd love it to be. Um, as like gun, gun bunch has much better blocking uh, because you can't like you can't block. You can't hit the block route for Smith Schuster. He doesn't have it. So sad. So that's why Gun Bunch is a little bit better because I feel like you get better blocking there. Uh, uh, but if like Juju was right next to the line, but then you'd be a tight end, that would suck. So, you know, benefits and positives. So that is it for the Gun Bunch. That is it for the ebook, right? Yeah, that's it for the ebook. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was an hour. Again, if you want the full thing, subscribe to my Twitch channel. Uh, it's free with Amazon Prime. And I will be able to send that out in a couple days to everybody, a mass email. And then if you if this is after a couple days, uh, join the Discord and link your Twitch in, in the Discord accounts. And then they'll just be in there for you that you can grab them. So that is it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully this helps with your scheme down the road uh, or at all. Uh, but here's the Jaguars ebook. Um, and I will talk to you guys later.